How would my exes describe our relationship? So we met at... Me and Shelly met on Instagram, Starbucks. On Instagram, it was late night around 12 o'clock and she shot her shot. Who made the first move? I did, I slid into her DMs. Yeah, I did, I made the first move. She DM'd me and her friend DM'd my brother. I told her she was cute and she told me I was cute too. And that's how it started. So I said, listen, you goofy, I'm goofy. I look good, you look good. Why not look good together? Let's rock. We all just ended up chilling at her house together. It was a setup. The whole thing. My type is... I think she likes guys with tattoos. They're like on the wild side. They like to have a little danger in their life. Big guys. Goofy, tall, attractive. Muscular and tall guys. He was attracted to my... Oh, demeanor with the way she carries herself. She has a pretty face, so that attracted me. Yeah, I thought she was cute. Then once I got to know her, she just was just super positive person. And I was attracted to his. I'm not sure physically, but hopefully it was my personality. I mean, her first words to me was that I was very cute, so I think it was just the face, you know. My goofiness, you know, she said I was really goofy. I guess she liked my height too. He thought that my best physical feature was... Uh, her curly hair. Um, I'm in love with curly hair. To me, it was her face. I thought she was very cute. Definitely her eyes. And I really liked his. My smile. She thought I was very cute. That was, those were the first words she said to me. My face, my teeth, my braces, everything about me. He thought that I looked like. I didn't really think about what she looked like. She looked unique to me, so that's what I like. That she didn't look like anybody else. I gave her like the, the J-Lo type of look. <laughs> That was the first day, I, I don't know, I thought of Shelly has her own look. Probably like a Kardashian maybe, or one of Paris Hilton. He looked like... Nah, I was gonna say The Rock, but I definitely don't like that The Rock. Hopefully I don't look like anybody either. I would hope I look unique. She told me that I looked like Drake. I don't see it. Dwight Howard mixed with Michael B. Jordan. Um, I always told him he looked like Omarion. <laughs> Our first date was... I took it to the beach. My brothers came with me, so I don't know if that's considered a, a first date. So our first date, we went bowling, and she wasn't really, she wasn't good at all. I beat her every game, so <laughs> I didn't let her win. It was fun, though. Me and Shelly went half on the bill, Applebee's two for 20, and she let me keep the appetizers for myself, so that was kind of good. He thought my best personality trait was. She's a very um, family-oriented person, and she gets along with everybody. She was very nice to me and my brother. At first, I kind of thought she liked my brother more. <laughs> Her goofiness, she's very funny. Our first kiss was. It was in the car after I drove her home. I dropped her home and I was giving her a hug and then she came closer and I'm like, I, I got it. Our first kiss was in her house the day I met her, very quickly. Our first kiss was romantic. Shelly's a great kisser. It was kind of like, should I demonstrate the kiss? It's like, it's kind of like a... Magic, straight, it's magic. I would call him... Bebecito. Rolando, I always called him Bebecito. I didn't know Rolando's name because it said Bebecito in the thing. Oh, I forgot. So I lost him too. No. <laughs> <laughs> Who paid on dates? Uh, me. Always. Definitely me. I paid every time. I'm not gonna lie, sometimes she tried, but I just wouldn't let her. We normally went half and half. I introduced him to... Nothing? You always say nothing? Does that sound bad? Spanish music. What's it called, bachata? There you go, bachata, there you go. Spanish music and the food, definitely. And he introduced me to... I think I introduced her to uh, a new crowd. She's actually best friends with the people I introduced her to now. And I'm not. Caribbean food, I'm Trinidadian and Jamaican, so I introduced her to some spices. Some stuff you put on your oxtail, jerk chicken. Just the gym. The holidays we spent together were. It was summertime, so all the good holidays didn't come till after. Thanksgiving we spent together. Valentine's Day is a holiday. We did Valentine's Day together. That was pretty nice. None. 
Well, oh, wait, well, yeah. Valentine's Day, I forgot about that one. I got him. Shelly bought me a PlayStation 4 with NBA 2K19. Just a teddy bear. That's it, she was not a big giver. And he got me. My heart, her heart. That's a gift from God. This nice Michael Kors watch, well, the Michael Kors watch I bought, I think she broke it. So I stopped buying her things. Well, I got her um, chocolates, teddy bear card, and then we went out. Our go-to restaurant was... The Blend. Uh, she likes Spanish food a lot. The Blend. She definitely loved The Blend. Applebee's. Loved Applebee's. And he had the, the margaritas. Applebee's two for 20, and she let me keep the appetizers for myself, so that was kind of good. Our song was... She always made me try to uh, dance to Spanish music, but I can't dance. Was the weekend true colors? Baby, come show me your true colors. Make me a picture with your true colors. Basically, show me your true colors. Let me know that this is real. I want to see your true colors. We loved to watch. We were always out, so we didn't really get to watch TV. I was forced to watch Low and Order. Was uh, it wasn't really that I liked. It was more of what she liked. We loved The Office. The best picture of us is... This picture was at my house right after we... It's just a Snapchat filter. We don't have any pictures together because I went on and got into another relationship after we was in a relationship and she didn't really like me having pictures of other females. Our sex life was... I think it was amazing. Great. <laughs> amazing. Nasty, fun, it was real good. <laughs> My family thought he was... Great. Oh, mommy, like me. <laughs> I never met them physically. And his family thought I was... I think my mom met her one time, but my mom thinks badly of me, so I can't really say anything about her right now. She's just very energetic and different than what I usually bring home. My family thought Shelly was really, really sweet. They love Shelly. They still like Shelly to this day. They want me to get back with her, but I tell them like, hey, who knows what the future holds? Did we say I love you? I think people use, overuse the word I love you. In love, no, but I feel like we loved each other genuinely as friends. Yes, we say it still to this day, honestly. Yes, we did. Who's most likely to win an argument? She's definitely gonna win. I'm just gonna agree with her and that's it. I am. Definitely Shelly. Me. I win every argument. <laughs> I don't have time to argue, so it's like goes through one air and out the next. She's like the blah, 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 blah. Okay, you got it. We dated for? A couple months. Six months. A year. We broke up because she thought I was talking to my ex, though. Justin cheated. She contacted her. My ex was crazy, too, so she told her that we weren't broken up. We really were, and then it just went from there. I thought it was best for us to, if we wanted our career to go where we wanted to be, to just separate for the time being. Francisco, it was too much argument. It was a mutual agreement. We just was focusing on where we were going. He got over the breakup after... About a month. A couple weeks, maybe a month. Since we didn't really end on like huge bad terms, it really didn't take me that much to get over it. I got over the breakup after... Years. She still loves me. I moved on when I seen him move on, and he was like posting, and he was around other girls and dancing. That's when I got over it. Um, same thing. I don't even know if she ever found out that my ex is lying, but if she did, I guess I guess she'll think about it and like, wow, like maybe that's that was dumb. I got over it pretty quick. I don't think she did. Yeah, I haven't got over him. He hated my friends, jealousy. I hated that she would FaceTime me every second of the day. We always fought about who would make it first, but in a good way. Not trusting each other. Not picking up. The worst thing he did to me was... I think I was actually very good to her. Cheat on me. One day I accidentally got gum stuck in her hair. Moving on. 
as soon as we broke up. Ignore her. He blocked me off of everything and I couldn't contact him. And the worst thing I did to him was... Not believe me. Ignored him. Stop talking to me. I went to a party and I posted a video of me dancing with a guy. Blocking me on Instagram. He was contacting me and I did not reply, nor picked up his phone calls. Were we in love? We loved each other as like friends. Yes. I was in love with her. With Justin, no. Francisco, no, I just had love for them. But um, I did fall in love with Rolando. How did things end? In the moment, bad, but long term, good. It was a mutual feeling. We both felt that it was best. Well, we, we're still friends. It, it never stopped. After we broke up, it paused for a little while, but then we got back and it's like nothing ever happened. Very mutual. Are we still on good terms? Me and Shelly are cool. We still keep in contact to this day. We talk here and there. I call her FaceTime. Yes, very good terms. Um, we talk almost every day. The best thing to come out of the relationship was? She made me a better person. Our friendship, uh, we really bonded together. I think our friendship. We stayed friends because? I think she's just a very just friendly person. She just has this natural just, I don't know, vibe about her that you just, you really can't, you know, stay away from her for too long. I feel like we both was mature about the situation and realized that it's our time to part ways. So that was pretty much, it's time to get out. I didn't think it was a reason not to be friends. He would say he misses my... Shelly makes good empanadas. I liked her company. Uh, I just feel comfortable when I'm around her. Her energy. She had just such good energy. And I would say I miss his... I think she would miss my company as well. We were just mad cool together. Me? I know she misses me. How caring I was always to her, you know. Um, I was such a gentleman. Um, she told me, she always told me that, you know, I was n not like any other guy she met. The best memory of our relationship is? Every kiss was amazing. It's just like magic, like a bomb went off. It's just, I can't explain, it's just like, should I do the kiss again? It's just like, it's, ooh, it's amazing. We went to this mansion party that I threw. I don't know, we felt like celebrities. We were at the mansion, we were in the pool, we were drinking, everything was free, food was free, liquor was free. It just, it was, it was a nice setting. The way we talked to each other, just so caring, you know, very loving. Would you date any of them again? <laughs> Would I date Shelly again? Hmm. Maybe, <laughs> maybe. That's a hard one. Hold on, I'm sweating right now. Maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> She's gonna watch this? I can give a second chance. I think I can give a second chance. I would. I definitely would. Yes, Rolando. I think he would tell my future boyfriends. Let her pick the food. Treat her good. Don't screw up. She's a, a great person to have in your life. What am I looking for? Stability, someone that's mature and confident.